Hey guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to uh, start playing around with Avogadro. We're not going to get too crazy, but I want you guys to be able to start playing around with it because uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so go ahead and we should have it already installed. So go ahead and this is what the icon looks like. So go ahead and get it all booted up. And so the fun part, all the cool stuff is going to happen in this black box. And so to get some what I imagine you guys are going to be using it for is looking up uh, maybe ingredients that you see on some sort of food. Uh, so how you do that is you go over here to file, you go down to import, and then you go fetch by chemical name. So what this is going to do is it's going to let you type in any chemical name, well almost any chemical name, it's got a pretty big database. But you go ahead and throw in a name there and the molecule should pop right up. So we'll start with water just to show you. And there it is. Uh, that is one molecule of water. And uh, so what you can do is you can you can click on any of these guys and when you, when you left click on any of these you can start moving this around. Uh, you can I think you can click out here too to move the whole thing around. Uh, the scroll wheel lets you scroll in and out and the right click helps you move left and right. So in case you get kind of way off or something, you can put it right back in the middle. Um, let's go, let's try to find something else that we can look up. Oh, I know one. Um, so if you want to clear this off, you go up here to close, and that should just clear out all that stuff and reset it all. And you go back to file, import, Fetch by chemical name. And let's go with this. That's sucrose. And sucrose is actually just table sugar. So um, that's the, the most common type of sugar. There's all sorts of different types of sugars. But this is table sugar. This is the one that you probably do every day. And, uh, it's pretty cool looking, I think. But yeah, you can click on any one of these and move it around. You can move this guy around like that. Zoom in on him and get a good look. It's pretty neat though. And uh, that's just about all there is to it as far as getting started. Um, I guess I want to let you know too that you got to make sure that you're on this little blue star. Um, all these other stuff, they're useful but only for some advanced chemistry and stuff like that for like measuring how far apart these things are and stuff, but that's pretty unnecessary. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty straightforward.